what do you do when you want some cinematic b-roll of yourself but you don't have a second shooter tripod shots can look so static and boring unless there's a way you can make them look handheld so i had to shoot some b-roll on myself the other day and i had to use tripods but I remember these presets from Cinecom. .net. <laughs> yes, dot net. <laughs> so these, um, these presets, they actually tracked real camera movement and they took that tracking data and converted it into drag and drop presets for free. And I'll show you a couple of other things you can use these presets for as well, not just tripod shots, but the main thing here is to hopefully inspire you to get out and get those extra shots more often now if you know that you can actually get your tripod shots to look pretty darn good you might even be able to fake a second camera with these presets if you're shooting in 4k go ahead and make a duplicate of your video track then do a punch in on the duplicate and add that wide smooth motion preset on top of that and then just alternate between the tripod shot and the punched in one and what do you guys think is it working yeah kind of sorta in a pinch maybe well now obviously it doesn't look exactly like shooting with two cameras because if you were to use a second camera you'd have that second camera in a slightly different angle but in a pinch this could totally work now before we take a look at how you can use these presets for other things than just tripod shots let's take a quick look at how you can download and install these to premiere and in the description there will be a link that'll take you to this site so just go ahead and download the pack and extract the files. Now in Premiere, go to your preset folder and right click, select import presets. Just navigate to your download directory and select one of the two files because you have to import them separately. Now there's a long and a short preset and heads up, the long one that's almost 10 minutes long can sometimes really bog down your computer. So make sure to only use the short one unless you're working with really long clips, okay? And from there, it's just drag and drop. Drag the preset onto your video track and boom. For tripod shots, I typically use the wide smooth motion presets the most. But try experiment with all of these to see which you know fits the mood and everything on your video the best. And the same thing if you want to add the preset to your clip before or after if you plan on slowing it down. As I said, you can use these for a lot of things, not just tripod shots. So I sometimes use them to get that kind of wiggle effect you see on titles in old movies sometimes. But any type of uh, overlay like uh, film burns or light leaks, what have you. Now, ironically, I also often use these on actual handheld footage because sometimes I get these micro jitters and shakes in my footage. So what I can do is I can go ahead and stabilize my footage with warp stabilizer or what have you, and then just kind of add back a little more handheld motion. Now, I hope this video and these presets would make your life a little easier and make it so you can head out more often to actually get those extra shots to spice up your video. Now, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye.